My name is Patty Armoyne. I'm from Long Island, and I was asked to go to a group reading in Manhattan in a penthouse. Hello. How are you? I was ready for a show. I don't know who I want to start with. And uh, she turned around and got us immediately. I was the first one she read. Who lost the daughter? Who lost them as an infant? Oh, OK. So now who's this? This is your daughter? Your granddaughter. Yeah, it's the same thing for me. Where is your daughter? Where I lost both my parents nine months apart, so I was hoping to hear from them. But when she said granddaughter and then she said infant, I was blown away by it. You actually held your granddaughter? She said, Teresa, she went like this, and she put my finger in her hand. I did. The baby was passed, and I took the baby's hand and opened it up and put my finger in it and wrapped it around my finger. When she said that, nobody knew that. Nobody. It was just me and Patty, so how would Teresa know something like that? It's, a, it's an impossibility. The only way she would know is that she really does talk to spirit. When they bring me and they have me do a body scan on an infant and then they stop me like midway here at the lung and I feel like a blockage, that's my symbol that something wasn't fully developed. But then it has to be something maybe with a blockage. Blood clots. Oh, blood clots. And she said nobody knew that I was sick. She had me look at her and she says, don't I look perfect? She was perfect. I kept on saying, but you're so perfect. How could you not be alive? So when Teresa said, I'm perfect, meaning the baby was perfect. That blew me away. It did. Do you have the booties, she tells me, in this, um, I almost feel like a shadow box. It is. Perfect. The nurses had made um, Angelina a beautiful knitted outfit, a hat, and they had given me a lock of her hair, um, her handprints, her footprints, the little bracelet that she wore. This is all I have left of my daughter, besides her spirit. So I wanted to put it in a box so that I always have it. Now, does your son have, like, your granddaughter's footprints tattooed on him? I don't know. What were you expecting when you came here? I didn't really have too much stuff left over from, uh, you know, when my daughter passed away. But uh, I had a really good handprint and footprint. So I got her handprint tattooed on, uh, you know, on my heart with the saying, uh, your soul is forever in my uh, heart. It's painful, but it means something, you know? means a lot to me. And it's almost like they might feel like, my loved one was taken from me. I want to remember them forever. I want everyone to remember them forever. And by maybe getting a tattoo, they might feel that, you can't take this tattoo from me. You can't take my loved one from me. I wanted to validate that your granddaughter was at peace and your father stepped forward wrapped with a pink blanket, acknowledging that he has your most precious gift safe with him on the other side. It was special to me because I crocheted a blanket, especially for the baby, and when we buried her, we wrapped her in the blanket. And when she said my father had the baby, my father and my mother helped raise my older son, Roy, the father of this baby. So um, it was perfect that he should welcome my son, Roy's baby. Do you have a brother? Because she says, I have a brother! She says, he's not as cute as me, though, Teresa. <laughs> so she says, please tell my parents. Part of my soul lives within this child. I see, I see it. Luciano's got beautiful blue eyes, and I, I believe that's Angelina in his eyes. I believe that. It just validates over and over that the soul lives on, that the only thing that is broken is that physical bond and that physical connection but that soul connection can never be broken. After the reading was over, the first thing we did was I called my kids. I couldn't wait to tell them. I couldn't wait to tell my son and my daughter-in-law and my husband and everybody. The day that my mother-in-law called me that she had gone on Teresa and she told me that my daughter came through was the best feeling ever. It was a sign of closure that I knew she was always with me and that I did nothing wrong. That my daughter was perfect and you know what? God needs little angels too. So I know she's always watching down on me. My experience with Teresa meant a lot to all of our family. It really did, both families. It kind of made us believe that this baby was not just gone. She was somewhere special.